My friends, welcome back to the vlog. We are on our way to what's hopefully a new FPV spot in the area. I was just driving the other day and I think I saw something that looked pretty fun from the side of the road. So I don't know what we're in for today. I think it looks pretty fun. And if it is worth flying, something that I want to do today is kind of narrate my first pack at a new flight and kind of break down how I explore and start finding freestyle lines at a new drone spot. I've actually tried to do this concept before and it's just been kind of one of those cursed video ideas where like something always goes wrong, like the GoPro doesn't record or I just don't have anything to say or it ends up not being a cool spot or, or whatever. So we've got to find a new spot and not mess up recording it. So hopefully that'll work out today. We'll record on the GoPro, we'll record back up on the DVR. We'll triple check. Sean's here. Hey Sean! All right, I'm doing some laps around the parking lot, scoping things out, trying to figure out where the best spot to set up is. That's something I'm pretty picky about. All right, I think this is where I want to set up. I'm pretty, I'm pretty particular about where you set up because wherever you are, that kind of limits being able to fly in that exact spot. And depending on where you are, other areas are also kind of blocked off. So normally I like to set up like kind of in a corner facing into kind of the main action, facing whatever is going to be the most complicated obstacle. But this is a little bit different. So here, there's all these awnings here and that's gonna kind of be the most fun. And normally I'd wanna be a little bit further away from them so that as we're exiting certain tricks, we're not gonna be crashing maybe so close to ourselves. However, there's kind of, it kind of shoots in both that way and that way. You could fly like down the sides of the buildings. So the further back we are this way, the more the buildings are gonna block our reception as we go in that way. I think this looks like a pretty good spot. You're not, you're not like psyched about this? Handy? I like oh, Andy. Andy. That's what you're saying. I just always, I never get kicked out when I'm parked in the parking garage. Mm -hmm. This seems very conspicuous. Mm. Like security's gonna kick us out That's any another thing to think about. Yeah. I don't buy into that. If we're getting kicked out, we're getting kicked out. Yeah, it doesn't matter how wide or high, now they'll find you. It'll take them longer, longer to find us. I either want to be able to fly all day or not at all. Let's get it over with. I think I crashed a lot and I don't want to walk down the stairs. Exactly, that's the other part too. I don't want to crash down here and have to walk down the parking garage every time. Also being inside the parking garage, talking about RF shadowing, there's a lot in there. Watch out for those RF shadows. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what it's actually called. <laughs> that's what it's actually called. Science. 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 <laughs> Your antenna is emitting science, okay? So wherever, if I'm standing here, the science is going that way, and that building is gonna block a lot of the science. Some of the science gets through, some of the science gets around, but you want, you want. <laughs> all right, all I had to say, I think we found a good spot to set up here, and I think this is gonna be a pretty fun location. Lots of little things to get into, lots of different areas to shoot down and explore, so I wanna quit yapping, make it happen, get flying. But before we get into it, I've gotta give a quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video. This video is brought to you guys by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community that offers thousands of classes on a whole range of different subjects from videography and photography to computer programming to business development. So whether you are looking to learn a new skill or develop an existing interest, they've definitely got a class for you. With so many things changing, you might not be spending your time the same way that you used to. And if you're looking for a new way to develop yourself and spend your time, what better way than learning things? So I've been taking this class called DIY Cinematography by Ryan Booth. I've been making videos for years now, but I've never had any formal video training. And this course is focused on people like me that are looking for hacks and tips to make the most of what they have. So there are sections on maximizing your location and using natural light. I've never really bought expensive lighting equipment. I mean, this is just like a cheap paper ball. So I'm always trying to trying to make, make it work with what I've got. And Ryan explains how you can make diffusers and light blockers yourself without spending hundreds of dollars on professional equipment. So the first 1,000 people to use the special link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium and then after that it's only like $10 a month. So give it a shot, it supports the channel and gives you a chance to learn something new. Big thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to our new FPV freestyle spot. All right guys, I'm just about ready to actually put a drone in the air. Now, 
I haven't flown here yet. Um, all I've really done is a little bit of a drive around, so a little bit of scoping, so I have a kind of a vague idea of how things are laid out, but once you get in the air, it always feels a little bit different. Things don't always flow exactly the way you think they're going to. So I'm gonna get this quad up in the air, and I'm gonna talk through this kind of first flight as best I can. And it's gonna be, I mean, I'm, I do jump straight to freestyle, but I also, it's a little more exploratory. It, you don't necessarily want to go all out. I mean, sometimes I can't help myself and I do just full send it and crash right away. But since we're doing a video about this, I'm going to try and chill out a little bit, explore a bit. I'm going to record DVR on my goggles so you'll see in the corner exactly what I see while I'm flying. But it's going to be pretty similar to what the GoPro records. And actually, tragedy has struck this concept again and I accidentally stopped recording instead of starting recording. So no GoPro file, but I did get goggled DVR which is a more raw, real look at the flying anyway, but sorry for the worst resolution. John wasted no time, he got up before me, but I'm excited to get into it. So, just kind of warming up with some good old split S's. That's kind of my go-to, what I feel most comfortable with, just split S'ing over trees, shooting through little gaps here and there, to kind of feel out how this building dives. Yeah, nothing too crazy. But the main obstacle here is really this awning set, right? So now I want to see like, how do these actually float? How small do these holes feel when you actually fly through them? It's not too bad. Maybe mix in a little bit. And then I've been really curious as to what the deal is with this upper area of the parking garage. Like I don't really know what's going on here. That's kind of interesting. I was hoping there would be some sort of dive in here, but even just all these little holes are pretty fun to play with. Oh, I could have connected that. So flip out and then connect into something there. Is there anything back here? Not really. So nothing too exciting with the parking garage as far as I can tell. But I do like this awning. I like how it connects to the parking garage. That's really fun. Oh, uh, that's cool. Oh, it's a little like V's to kind of get into. Oh, that reminds me, one of the main things I saw here was these channels. Oh yeah, that's pretty fun. Yeah, I haven't done that. You yet. haven't done that? That's fun, Sean. I did a lot of stuff. Oh, and this one over back. here, oh, there's like a nice. gap you gotta go under the tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's fun. And then there's this thing. Yeah, I explored a little bit, but I missed a lot of the stuff that you're finding already. Yeah, there's nothing really like epic about this spot, but it's got a lot of like little technical things that yeah. are fun to like link together. Oh, I don't know where that was going. I like any wall rides that are like between stuff, you know, like so the trees up against the buildings. Yeah. Oh! Hello. Ha found the roof. We're good. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Maybe like a Maddie through this. How crazy would that? Ooh, that's kind of tight because yeah. it's next to the parking garage. Oh! At least you can get up on there if you do crash. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> rewind. Uh, that's yeah. That's where you put a rewind in. Yeah, it's sloppy though. Like I feel like whenever I pull one of those, like you can tell, like that's not what you meant to do. <laughs> but that's something else. Like just try to keep everything flowing. Like even if you mess up, you know, just try and make it look as intentional as possible. Uh, this is cool, but that up there, I don't think we're getting it back from Probably that kind of, um, that upper deck area. Oh, battery's getting low. Oh. Getting close to the wall there. No, it was fine, we're fine. fine. 
I'm running this battery lower than I should. bring it in. Ooh, 12.1. Yeah, I ran that way too low. Bounce back up. Oh, that was a good battery too. Damn it. I always do that. Because when it's a nice fresh battery, it still feels good towards the end. Yeah. So like it still felt like there was good power. Yeah. It was so stupid of me. <laughs> what did you bring it down to? It's 11.6. Oh, wow. Whoops. Whoops. Yeah, that's a little low. <laughs> All right, I think that first pack was pretty good. Nothing too crazy, but I think it was a good mix of exploration and still kind of warming up the freestyle moves and, and feeling it out. But I think there's a lot more to do here, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna burn some more packs. I'm not gonna talk while I fly again. I'm gonna try and just more focus on flying, trying to like narrate's a little bit distracting. So we're just gonna get into it, have a good time, and see if we can get some really great freestyle clips here. So that's just about gonna do it for this video. We flew at that spot for hours. We had a great time, even though it wasn't necessarily like an epic spot. Like I said, when I was first kind of scoping out, there was nothing there was that was really like crazy or epic, but it ended up being still a fun spot that had pretty good flow and a decent variety of different types of obstacles. Basically just like practice freestyle and more importantly, just have a good time hang out with the friends, had a great time just chilling with Sean and Mike, which by the way, something that didn't make it into the video because again, another video file got like messed up was I crashed in some like really, really thick brush and I was convinced <laughs> the quad was gonna be lost, but Mike like forged his way in there and got my drone back for me. So I just wanted to throw that in there and say thanks Mike for getting my drone back. I was really thinking uh, I was in a bad spot um, and I would have put it in the video, but the 
files just got messed up. I don't know why I was having so many video issues. I swear this concept was, I've just always had trouble with it, but I'm glad I finally got to uh, lay it down, even though I ended up having to use DVR from the goggles, but at least it was still 720, which, you know, not as good as that 4K goodness, but still watchable. But I think it's a pretty fun concept to just kind of narrate the first exploratory flight at a new spot and maybe hopefully I've broken the curse of this concept and can do it more. Let me know if you enjoyed it because I think it's a, like it's a pretty easy concept to do and fun. I mean I think it's kind of just kind of cool to like explain the thought process when you're just jumping into a spot fresh and seeing what's possible, seeing how it all shakes out. So maybe something I want to do some more of. But I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out and going on an FPV freestyle adventure, checking out a new spot and working on some lines. I always appreciate you guys tuning in. So, you know, explore new places and persevere.